All right, we got game one Indeed. loser semis with RJ and Grim Turtle. Mm -hmm. What's up? My name is Boone. I'm here with my lovely friend Raptor. Yes, sir. All right, they're getting game one here. Pretty even on the first stocks. Uh, can we get some game time? No, 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 we don't. RJ taking the first stock. Mm -hmm. That classic RJ ledge trap, his go twos. Now let's see what Grim Turtle can do here. If he can get the stock quickly, or if RJ can s snowball this into a lead. Yo, is game time not working? Oh, okay. That's yeah, fine. So, Ooh. no game sound, okay. RJ with the up smash there, barely not killing, but he's racking up a lot of extra credit here. Grim Turtle, ooh, barely going over the high recovery. And mm. dying to the up B, unfortunately. Yeah, a little bit of a DI check there for Grim Turtle. Probably wasn't ready for that quick up B. It is very fast, and I think mm -hmm. frame 6 or something like that. It's a very quick option, just not a lot of range. RJ is racking up really, really good damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I believe it, uh, Grim Turtle was eliminated by RJ from winners uh, earlier oh, yeah, in this so tournament. This is so this could have been Grim Turtle's revenge, but RJ just really making sure uh, Grim Turtle just stays down. Yeah, seems to be a little bit of a bracket demon for uh, the young budding Rob player, but you know, he was doing really good. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Grim uh, Turtle, he's gotten a lot of potential. He's getting a lot of good results. Gets the Grim Bear there, <laughs> trademark. Oh, they're getting the gyro. See if he can get some combos off this. Ooh, I saw the setup just happening up, there. He's going for up the zero. He's out of his combo. Yeah, that's always the risk against Samus. And now let's see, 150%. whole lot of rage. Uh, but uh, this is looking like RJ's game so far. Looking like RJ's game, but yeah, man, yeah, yeah this is that'll do it. Quick game, quick game. Quick game, just over two minutes there. Uh, oh, now we got game sound. Let's go. There we go. Game sound. All right. Now let's see what Grim Turtle can go bring back here. He gets the counter pick. Let's see if where he wants to take it. Okay, yeah, sounds good. This is an this is definitely an interesting matchup. Uh, two zoners that are that are surprisingly good at boxing as well. Yeah, it's they have really good frame data. Both like the pinnacles of that like mm -hmm. hybrid archetype, like them and maybe Pac-Man. Ooh, they're going to Smashville. Mm. Interesting counter pick from Grim Turtle. Smashville, while being a small stage, it kind of leaves that top platform where you can just charge charge mm -hmm. shot under. I'm not sure if I love that pick, but we'll see. Uh, maybe he's going somewhere else? Seems right. like he's going Battlefield. Battlefield, okay. Oh, and again, some Animal Crossing music. Maybe that's the reason he wanted that's to go smash it just for the song. That's, that's not really what you want to hear when you're fighting, honestly. Oh, he just wants that, that inner zen. Just keep inner him calm. You know? Okay, okay. Oh, oh bringing out the wolf. wolf. Okay, I like this pick. Grim Still Turtle. has a reflector. Has this really isn't good just combos. a random pullout. This is his uh, secondary he practices. Mm -hmm. And I think he has a lot of faith in it. No, <laughs> starting off immediately with the parry on the way to the. You can see some incredible neutral going back and forth between these players. Yeah, I think this pick will definitely. Already at 50. Seems like a good pick so far. Yeah, I think this will let uh, Grim Turtle oh, go wow. on the aggressive a lot more. Like with the raw pick, he's kind of waiting for him to come to you, but. Samus ain't gonna do that. Grim Turtle was really trying to close it off with that s mass there, but unfortunately misspaced it. Yeah, this pick working out so far, but closing out the stock is the important thing, and so is Ooh. getting off ledge. RJ ledge trap, deadly as always. Let's see dash tag. But, uh, Wolf does have some really good kill power, so he could definitely even it out. Yeah, I like this little flash of the reflector. It's hard to read those timings, especially close quarters like that. I wouldn't be making guesses on that, because that can really get you killed. It's more something you want to do at longer range where you can hit. Oh, unfortunately, loses jump. Yeah, brutal SD. Uh, if he had recognized, he could have upbeat immediately. But tough to know in that scenario. Grim Turtle getting his first stock. Oh, RJ really wanted to wanted to close it off with a down air. Yeah. Oh, control. Missing the dash on that grab. The fair grab there. A little bit unfamiliarity. I know he practices as a secondary, but obviously he won't be as clean and polished as his main. But still, Wolf is uh, is a pretty easy character. You can pick up like on the fly, so yeah. And I think with the the fun to use that Grim Turtle has, really up and coming player in this region, I think he can get a lot done here. Yeah, and Grim Turtle. Oh man. Well, he he did close it off with a down air. Yeah, and you know that seemed like a dominant game from RJ, like 2-0, but. In terms of like neutral wins, 
I really don't think it was all that bad. It seemed like Grim Turtle was doing pretty good. It's just mm -hmm. a, that ledge trapping leading to edge guards. Yeah. RJ has that unlocked, just securing those kills. But in terms of the neutral, it seemed like uh, the both of them actually doing really well. Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon versus Rob. Very interesting. I was really hoping to see Captain Falcon versus Wolf. That'd like potentially. A, like a really explosive match. Yeah, potentially RJ trying to counterpick the uh, the Wolf there, but then not realizing that uh, Grim Turtle was going to switch back. Maybe, uh, maybe Grim Turtle wanted to try out the Wolf, see what would happen, but. Uh, uh, I'm not sure about this pick for RJ. He's just doing his test it out on a player that he respects, trying to get some data. It's fun because pretty much I've only seen him pull out his secondaries when he is just having a fun day or he's molding against Fire <laughs> uh, <laughs> One of the two. Uh, Falcon is RJ secondary? Uh, I believe so. Falcon and Wow are just two tries. I remember when he got really mad at a uh, Pyramid the player, he just went Falcon out of desperation. <laughs> uh, we all get mad at Pyramid sometimes. We don't yeah. play RJ. <laughs> Ooh, running off the down there. Oh, the sour spot. That looked like it should have been sweet spot for the turtle. Good okay. the eye on RJ. Parry uh, and the, and and Kip gets the first dog with a parry. Yeah, and so this pick from RJ, like if he loses this game, I think Grim Turtle should definitely go back to. The oh, and he evens it out. Oh, okay. but yeah, maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. Knock on wood for my man Grim this Turtle. Is, this is definitely like a surprisingly explosive match. I mean, we have Falcon, but uh, Rob making it look really good so far. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think anyone says Rob lacks on offense. I think he just lacks his style on offense, yeah. if you will. I mean, Rob has style, but it's kind of, I don't know, satur oversaturated because of like, like that uh, Z-drop Nair combo over and over again. Yeah, I, I think the, the issue is that like it's not that he doesn't have cool stuff, it's that he has a lot less cool stuff that is better. Falcon. But uh, speaking <laughs> of cool stuff, Falcon RJ getting that, getting that classic uh, triple up air to knee. The, the do nothing mix up not working out for RJ. And Turtle trying to go for some patented Grim Bears, but not working. Out. RJ saying, No, I'm going to combo you. You're a big character, and I'm a combo heavy character. Ooh, and he closes it oh. off with a 3 0. Very quick games. Yeah, very quick games. RJ sealing it out.